Hi guys, this is GSNO.com and I'm here with the Motorola Moto Z2 Play for a quick hands-on. So we have the device here during a local event and we're dealing with a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED Full HD device and of course it's a modular mid-ranger you can attach modules to the pins at the back side we got a metal body this time no longer glass at the back six millimeters in thickness weighs 145 grams 3000 mAh hour battery and a 12 megapixel camera which from what i understood is the same sensor from the galaxy s7 f 1.7 aperture dual tone flash at the front dual tone flash as well five megapixel shooter for the selfies and uh, a Snapdragon 626 CPU as well as 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. And let's access gsmdom.com here so we can view the website. Here we go, gsmdom.com, hands on with the Moto Z2 Play. Modular phone, you can attach a 360 degree video photo capture module at the back. There's a gaming module, there's a battery module, even a wireless charging module. So we got quite a few things to attach. It's slim, it's got a fingerprint scanner at the front, similar to the Moto G5 one. And it's very, very light compared to the technology inside. So metal all the way. The spins, we still have an audio jack, unlike the Moto Z, USB Type-C port. A slight protruding camera at the back side and that's about it, that's the whole package. And 64 GB of storage or you can get it in a 32 version with 3 GB of RAM. Of course there's stock Android 7.1.1 here and we also have a stock interface. By the way, the 12 megapixel camera, in spite of this being a mid-ranger, films in up to 4K, which is quite nice to have. So that's about it, we're going to test it as soon as possible, this is it from gsn.com, it's priced at around $450, bye bye.